Okay, so today I'm going to unbox the Wild River uh, by CLC. It's the model number WT3503. It's the Tackle Tech Recon Compact Backpack with LED. So let's, I've already cut the box open, but let's pull it out of here. This is it, but first let me show you kind of what I've been using and the process of where I've got to this. All right, so I bet at some point everybody has had one of these Plano tackle boxes, right? You open it up, it's got all kinds of neat things like this, and you start using it and then you realize it's not convenient it's not handy especially if you're out on the kayak or doing a lot of trips so you might change to something else and this is what I changed to so after the terrible tackle box I moved to you know your standard backpack and I thought hey wouldn't it be neat if we put all of our tackle into these, you know, waterproof Plano thingies. And, you know, I'd go out and try to do it in one, and then I would, you know, need another one. And then pretty soon, when I needed to get to my stuff, it was always, uh, you know, inconvenient. And everything got messy. So I started to do some research. And that's where I found this compact backpack. So here's the Wild River. And now the first thing I noticed was the bottom. Which was neat. It stands up on its own. So you can, when you're out, you can stand it up, which is I find convenient. It's got a nice strap on the back. Mm, these could be a little bit more padded maybe, but uh, they're not bad. These are breathable. First thing uh, I noticed, let's see, it's got all these neat little things that tells you about what it is. So let's open up the first one. There's your first pouch. It's pretty deep. You could get a couple of cans of Coke. Okay, I've got this handy candle. Fits right in there. Whatever you need. It's, uh, it's pretty good size. It also has this carabiner. Uh, your instruction guide, your instruction guide, and it feels like there's something in here. So I look on the back here, and it says protective rain cover. So I guess this opens up like that, and oh, look at that, it's connected. You got a protective rain cover that quickly covers your stuff. Alright, that's kind of cool. Let's leave that out. Uh, next little thing, this flips up and pretty powerful lights. And I guess that would be for when you're here and you open that up, you've got room for these different trays. And it's your standard, your standard tray. But what's neat is if you were out in the dusk, you could turn on your, your light and angle it, angle it down and be able to look at your stuff. i got to figure out how to use it. There we go. Alright, so you've got room for four of these. I like that. Passing that back up. Zip it. It's really good material. I don't know, it's very solid canvas nylon. Then in here you got another pouch. You can put keys or little things in there. So that's 
that's a nice little pouch. On the side here, it's got space for your pliers. Velcro to put your pliers in there. Look, you can get like a little thing right here for your pliers. And I thought this was pretty neat. It's got your little detacher. So I don't know what you call these things, but you hook your pliers right onto that so you can use them. That's good. Let's look at the side here. Get these out of the way. Another pocket with a hole in it, or another little pocket inside the pocket. You get a mesh nylon holder on the side. That's pretty, that's actually plastic or rubber. That's a pretty durable feeling. Same material on the inside. It's a heavy duty, heavy gauge rubber. Another spot there. And on the other side, let's open this up. Same thing as the other side. So it's like pretty identical on the other side. Although this one folds out a little bit longer, it doesn't have the the web on the inside like the other one did. Uh, it's just got it on the outside. So there we go. There we have it. I am going to load it up now with a bunch of my gear to see if I was going to go out for some inshore fishing. What all uh, is there and. Uh, neat. It has an internal divider. So adjustable internal divider. So I'll have to figure that one out. I guess that's this piece in here can be changed out to make it different. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. Let's see. I'll check all that out. Oh. Well, this, this comes out. That's pretty neat. Look at that. So, if you wanted full use, it comes out like that. So this little piece is Velcroed. It folds down. It's got a Velcro piece there to hold it. Or you can put it up like that. Or fold it down. It gives you extra space. There goes a the container. Alright, so let's load it up and see what it looks like loaded up. Okay, so I did just a really quick load up of what I typically might take on a really short trip, you know, just walking down to the river and maybe getting out on the, on the kayak. So first, open up this, and actually this one's empty. I had more space than I thought I would need. Um, here, I just loaded up with, you know, some typical, you know, a couple of spoons, a couple of top waters little jig. Whoops! Okay, so that might be an issue. So you got to be careful with this. These things pop off. So, that was interesting. Anyway, so uh, a couple of shrimps. Stick them in there. And then the next one opened up. Kind of similar. Got some weights. A couple, couple more top waters. Some suspending uh, jerk baits. A jig. And then in this one, just jig heads and hooks. And like I said, I didn't fill one up. And I've got plenty of extra spacers if I need to make spacers. So I thought there was a lot of room in this compartment. And then in this compartment, I didn't put anything. You know, didn't have anything to put in there. Uh, up top. I got some extra liter, a big bag of soft plastics, and another big bag of some power baits and plastics. And then I put my pliers right here. You can see the pliers. I put the pliers there. Easy to easy to get at there. On this side. What did I put in here? I put in my stinky bait, the Procure. Always keep it in a Ziploc bag, but I've got what's left of my Procure. I've got that in there. 
And then down here, I put a couple of these, should I decide to throw on a fake shrimp or, and go after that. Let's stick that out there. And then on this side, in here, so plenty of room. Another one, uh, you know, but plenty of room. I mean, I still could get a ton more stuff in here if I needed to. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, a ton more stuff. I can figure out how this thing works. I got to my push out. You got push on this side, the orange side. Push it on the orange side. Anyways, ton more stuff there. So um, I got this off of Amazon. They run anywhere from uh, new. This one's refurbished. Can you believe it? It looks ex brand new. It's uh, it said used. Uh, I got this one for 90 bucks that included shipping. Uh, but they run anywhere from about 110 up to 130, and then they've got one that's bigger than this, and it runs anywhere from 150 to 199 dollars. But you see, the inside is all water resistant stuff. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about it. I think I'm going to like it. Hope you guys uh, find this helpful. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, see you out there fishing. Okay, so today I'm going to unbox the Wild River uh, by CLC. It's the model number WT3503. It's the Tackle Tech Recon Compact Backpack with LED. So let's, I've already cut the box open, but let's pull it out of here. Alright, this is it. But first, let me show you kind of what I've been using and the process of where I've got to this. All right, so I bet at some point everybody has had one of these Plano tackle boxes, right? You open it up, it's got all kinds of neat things like this, and you start using it. And then you 